Welcome to getting started with TBC. Thank you for downloading and installing Trimble Business Center. When you open up TBC, you will be greeted by the startup page. Please take note of the new section where you will see the latest updates relating to Trimble Business Center. Next up, you can sign in to your TID over here. The user profile manager is where you can predefine your ribbon, settings as well as options for TBC that you can use in the future. You can open a project or open up a new project. Let's open up a new project. You will be greeted by the new project tab where you can select what format your data is in. I will choose metric for this data set. Now we will have the plan view. This is a 2D representation of your data in TBC. You have two options how to import data in TBC. The first one is a simple drag and drop functionality. Go to the relevant folder where your data is, select the data sets, simply click hold and drag and drop it into the plan view. This will import your data into TBC. As you can see we have imported total station data. The green lines indicate total station shots and the pink line indicates a traverse that was done in the field. An alternative way of importing data is using the import tab. In the quick access menu bar you have an option to import your data or you can go to the home tab under data exchange and get the import button there. Click on it and it will open the import pane for you. As you can see we already have these two data sets uploaded as indicated by the green arrows for import. If you would like to import another data set Simply go to the relevant folder where your data is. Once you have the folder, click OK. It will then show you the relevant data that can be imported into TBC. Please note that when you use the drag and drop functionality, it will use the default settings to import the data into TBC. As you can see over here, we have settings for the import of different ways of the data in TBC. Select all the data and simply click import. As we are importing static data, we will get the raw receiver data check-in window. Select the relevant data as needed and click OK. Now you can see we have imported static data that was captured in the field and it is depicted by the light blue lines between the points. To navigate your data in TBC, hold down your right mouse button to pan your data. If you would like to zoom in and out, simply use your scroll button by rolling it forward and backwards to zoom in and out of your data set. The left mouse button is where you can select data in TBC. If you hold down the control key, you can select multiple data. Simply click in the black area to unselect any selection. If you have data selected in TBC and you then right click on that point, you will see the menu for that point pop up. At the bottom, you will see the properties option. If you click that, you will see all the relevant information pertaining to that point or vector that you have selected in TBC. If you would like to view the data in 3D, simply go to the quick access menu and select new 3D view. This will open a 3D view of your data in TBC. To rotate the data, simply go to the middle of your data set Click and hold your scroll button and you will be able to rotate your data in TBC. Let's go back to the plan view. Two very important functions in TBC you will find under the home button. The first one is your project explorer under data. Click on it to open up the project explorer. The second important one is the view filter manager to be found under the view tab. Click there. As you can see, it has opened it up in the same window pane 
and at the bottom the two tabs are visible. Simply click on Project Explorer to view it. In the Project Explorer you can see all the relevant information pertaining to the data that has been imported into your TBC project. Simply click on the little drop down arrow to see the relevant information pertaining to the points, the static data sessions, your feature library and the imported files that you can see over here in your project. The View Filter Manager is where you can manipulate what you see in TBC, Plan View and 3D View. By simply clicking the data, it will remove that specific data set, which is the baselines. It does not delete the data from your project, it simply hides it from view. Please take note that if a data is not visible in the Plan View or 3D View, it will not be used when you do any calculations or editing in TBC. TBC will only manipulate the relevant data that is in view at the moment and not unselected. Once you've completed your work and you would like to export your data, you can go to either the Quick Access menu bar or you can go to the Home tab under Data Exchange and click on Export. This will open up the Export pane. Here you will see the different file formats available in TBC. It ranges from point clouds, corridor information, survey data, CAD data exports, construction exports, GIS data exports and custom exports. Custom exports is where you find your simple CSV export relating to your data. At the top you can see we have a point easting northern elevation code export option. In the data section, simply click on the relevant points that you would like to export or if you would like to select all the available points to be exported, simply hold control and click A. TBC will automatically then select all the relevant points for this export type in your project. If you click on the three dotted button over here, you can select where you want to export your data. Select the correct folder and give your data set a name. Once you've done that, simply click on save and you can click on export. Your data has now been exported. If you would like to save the project, you have two options again. In the quick access menu bar, the save project button is there. If you go to file, you will find two options here. Save as is when you have already saved the project and would like to rename it and give it a different name. The save button is here available again. Simply click on it and it will open up your file explorer and you can then select a name. Type it in, click on save and your data will be saved. At the top of your TBC window, you will see the name now change. And that is how you know your data has been saved for TBC. That concludes this video for getting started with TBC.